Never mind. You can deal with it. Oh my goodness. Uh, no, use two hands, please. It's very, very normal. It's a developmental thing. I got to feed, I got to feed, I got to feed. That was a full blown tantrum. He's behaving as if okay. he's never eaten in a week. Happy birthday to you. Last time I baked a cake was eight years ago for Lakshman's birthday. Oh no, we forgot candle. Happy Lakshman carrying the baby and the pram carrying her bags. I like to be warm and toasty. Was painful. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you today? How old are you today? No, no, mommy, don't eat biscuit. Mommy, don't eat biscuit. <laughs> Levi, whose birthday is it today? Whose birthday is it today? How old are you today? How old are you today? <laughs> you don't want to talk now, do you? We have a two-year-old in the house. I cannot believe where the time has gone. Really, I just cannot believe it. You're two years old. Now we're talking to the camera, aren't I? You are two years old. He doesn't even realize it's his birthday anyway. He's only two. I think it's a bit too early. Next year, he will know it for sure. We want to go out. I mean, I took the day off. I was actually working. It's a Thursday today. Lakshman is working. He couldn't take the day off because he's doing something else. So I took the day off. Didn't want to send him to the nursery. Um, and I thought I can take him out, you know, have a nice day with him. We were going to celebrate his birthday on Saturday anyway, because both of us are off. The weather is really good. So we wanted to take him to the wild place. But today, because it is his actual birthday today, it didn't really feel like sending him to the nursery but he has had other plans the weather is really good today but for some reason he just doesn't want to go out at all and my lens is so dirty oh that's much better oh no i don't want to do another intro now never mind you can deal with it. oh my goodness <laughs> this boy is the cheekiest ever nowadays i'll tell you a lot more later but now we are still in our pajama it's already 10 o'clock he is in his pajama and it's already 10 o'clock i need to get him dressed and take this boy out of the house we need to get some grocery stuff and then go out for lunch are you gonna get ready you want to get ready are you ready <laughs> Where's Levi? Peekaboo! <laughs> Where's Levi? Peekaboo! <laughs> My cheeky little baby. It's been 40 minutes since the last clip. It took me 40 minutes to get him dressed, put on his shoes and his coat and come down. And he's at this age where he wants to do everything by himself. He must climb down the stairs by himself. Did you climb down the stairs yourself? <laughs> Almost at mummy hold. Come, mummy hold, and then you get down. Mm, come, big step. There you go. Well, well, well done. Well, well. Yeah. Yeah. Once he finishes unpacking, that's what he does. Throws it the other side of the baby gate. <laughs> I've given him a little bit of a task. He's helping me refill the teak bags in the container. What are you doing, Levi? Tea bags. Are you putting tea bags inside? Thank you. You're so helpful, aren't you? But he truly is very, very helpful. He's so eager to help all the time. And I didn't realize this, but while he's helping me, he's actually learning so much. 
now that he's two years old, I don't even know where to begin with an update. And I don't think I can actually give you a proper update like this. But he's just shot up. You know, his vocabulary has increased. His understanding has increased. All of a sudden, he's talking in multiple sentences, explaining everything. Even when we don't tell him, even when we don't talk to him directly, okay. he's actually listening to us. All done. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you I'm really enjoying this two years. Uh, you know, a lot of people say about terrible twos and tantrums and stuff. It happens with children. Uh, they're growing, they're developing, the brain is growing, and they're learning everything. We don't need any more tea bags, baby. That's full. Close it tightly. Push it in tightly. Uh oh, it came out. I tell him I was going to talk to the phone a little bit, and he wanted to come and give me company. Do you want to say hi? Uh, How old are you, Levi? Three. No, you're not three yet. You're two. Two. Oh, you want to sit on me? Are you comfortable like this? Okay. You can sit here and we will talk, okay? So I was just saying, um, terrible twos and tantrums and stuff. It's very, very normal. It's a developmental thing for children. If they don't have that, it means that something is wrong with them. It's how we handle it is what really matters. I'm not saying I'm the most patient. In fact, I'm not patient at all. But I am learning to be with him. It's just that sometimes you have no other choice. And sometimes he looks this cute and this sweet. Um, you can't, <laughs> You can't help but play with him. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that cute little face. <laughs> this morning, for example, was a very difficult morning. I had a very late night last night because I ended up spending about four or five hours working at night since I took today off. I wasn't meant to take today off, but because it was his birthday and everything, I just wanted to spend time with him. So I ended up taking the day off. Um, <laughs> woke up this morning and for some reason he was just in one of his moods that he wanted to throw a tantrum for everything. He wanted to eat B-I-S-C-U-I-T-S. If I say the word, he'll ask for it now and it's very close to his lunchtime. He wanted to eat that instead of his breakfast. And I was like, you know what? Fine. You can have it. I'm not going to let you cry or make you cry today. So I just let him have it. He didn't want to finish all of his porridge for breakfast today. He only had like half of it. I was like, okay. When we were brushing teeth in the morning in the bathroom, he was making a mess and he wanted something. And he ended up crying because I didn't want to let him do that. I didn't give it to him for too long. Um, he's literally hanging off my leg. You're yeah, hanging off my leg. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Even to change clothes. Remember this morning when I came on to say that we were going to get ready and go out? It took 40 minutes and he ended up screaming and shouting as if I was torturing him just to put on his pants. Didn't want to put on his pants. Oh no, where's it? There you go. Didn't want to put on his pants. Didn't want to put on his clothes. For some reason today, he just didn't want to leave the house at all. And I took the day off so I could actually take him out rather than him being stuck in the nursery. But he's just happily content being at home today. Um, yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes I give in to him. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's fine. You can do whatever you want to do. Sometimes I put my feet down and I'm like, no, this is it. I'm holding my boundaries. Like how when we went to the shop today, he wanted to do something and I was like, no, thankfully he didn't do any tantrums while we were out. So today is the first time I am going to attempt taking Levi out on my own to eat. I mean, we've gone out to like play areas and stuff where we have snacks, but not really proper lunch or dinner on my own with him. It's always with Lakshman. We always take him together. Um, but I've always wanted to go out on like dates, date night and date lunch and stuff with him. We'll see. He's doing okay eating out. Sometimes he has his mood. Sometimes he eats everything. Sometimes he doesn't want to. While we are at home, he just wants to play and sometimes he expects us to feed him. He doesn't want to feed himself. In the nursery, he obviously feeds himself. He eats everything, asks for second helping and everything at home. He just doesn't finish. We will see what happens over lunch today.
ready to go in? Is it nice? You have to hold your cup with two hands. Very cool. He's obsessed with straws at the moment and he absolutely loves juice. Like, clearly, he doesn't even have juice at all. So, so this is like a special treat for him. And he thinks it's very cool. It is cool, actually. It is quite cool. I said, my eyes by all this place. take him out on my own that was a full-blown tantrum he I, for some reason i thought i was going to be the disciplinarian in this relationship and lakshman will be the fun dad he still is a fun dad but somehow levi does not express himself as extremely as he does with me when he is with lakshman you know you saw from some of those clips he's He's watching, he's understanding everything that I am saying. So I want to be careful what I say. He expresses himself a lot when he's with me in every extreme possible and goes from one spectrum to another. Um, all he had today was probably two pieces of rice, two tablespoons of baked beans from my plate, um, one small bite of toast, plain toast, and half a cup of apple juice. That's it. Did you eat anything else, Levi? What else did you eat? Uh, yeah, I I did you have baked beans? Did you like the baked beans? The baked beans. Yeah, it was nice, wasn't it? It was very reluctant. He, yeah, he just wanted to try it. And then he liked it and he wanted everything, but there wasn't much at all, obviously. So that's his lunch. I think he's going to go hungry. This is the thing that I struggle with, with his food, okay? Baby lad weaning and this and that and everything. People say, oh, they know their body. They know how much they need and everything. Come on. You can't expect a two-year-old or one-year-old to know exactly how much they need and what they need. They are playful. They get distracted very easily, which is what happens with Levi too at home. You know, he's distracted. He wants to play. He wants to be out and about, he wants to be on the move, he just doesn't want to sit and eat. And he's not really going to get enough nutrients if he keeps doing that. And if I just let him throw food, waste food like that, he's not going to get anything in his body at all, is he? But I suppose that's what we're going to do. It's well past his nap time now, so as soon as we reach home, he's going straight to bed. For the first time ever, I'm probably going to let him go to bed hungry without anything else. Unless he asks for something. Oh no, did you take off your shoe? Did you take off your shoe? <laughs> you cheeky boy. He knows he's been cheeky and then he does cute stuff like this. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I've been all around the world. Oh. Every city, every place. Blow, blow, Levi. Okay. Yeah. Are you blowing? Um, Levi, is it nice? No, it's a good option, baby. Choosing. It's one of those things like hit and miss for kids. Mm. You know how this afternoon he refused to eat at all? Now, he just cannot have enough of that pasta. Lakshman can't keep up with the speed of how Levi is eating. The pasta is really hot, so we are blowing it and giving it to him. And Levi is so impatient because he wants to eat it. <laughs> so you, this only happens with me. I thought I was a strict one, but for some reason he just doesn't eat with me at all. 
So whenever Luxville is around, he eats everything properly. This is why every time we go out, I strategically face Levi next to Luxville so that he eats. I'm there, I serve him, I order it, and I choose what he wants to eat, what I know he will eat and what is good for him. But it's always Luxville who makes him eat. And that's what is happening. Just watch him. Now. Okay. He's behaving as if okay. he's never eaten in a week. Uh, Tell you. Always been a restless girl I, But now there's a wind of change I've never ever felt this way Longing for you, pick up the phone Catching a flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known <laughs> that was very gentle. <laughs> that was very gentle. You were so. only like a yeah. friend. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 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 Do you know why we have a new today? Yeah. Because we have a new birthday. Yeah. 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 Blow your candle. Blow your candle. Okay, thank you. Blow. Blow your candle. How do you do? Your mommy to help? Blow. Blow. Blow your candle. You can do it. Give us cake. Give us cake. Here. Yes, give us cake. You can eat with your spoon, okay? Can you give me your fork? Yes. Yeah, that's a spoon for you. Take them out. Levi's <laughs> <laughs> okay. first ever cake. Okay, Levi, you, okay. Need, you need. You need happy yes, birthday happy birthday to you. to you. Okay, take him out. Dinner was absolutely nothing like what lunch was. And this is absolutely not fair. I think traumatized is a bit too strong of a word, but that's how I feel now. To take Levi out on my own. I'm gonna need time to recover from this before I can take him out on my own. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've had pockets of time where we had such a good time at home playing together and everything. And there were most of times where he was screaming and crying, usual tantrum sort of a thing, you know, that he was doing today. And this is the first day of turning two years old. And I don't know if I told you or not, I love this age. I like how he can talk, he can communicate and, you know, his vocabulary is exploding and growing and it feels so much more nicer. He understands a lot more. There's a lot more that we can do with him at the moment. But day one of turning two and tantrum, yes, baby? And tantrum is like, I can't deal with this. Lord, please give me a bit more grace and patience. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you want? Daddy's going to. <laughs> He's got far too much energy to sit in the car seat now. It's all the doing of the chocolate. This is the very first time in his two years of life that he had chocolate. It was chocolate syrup on the tray, on the plate where the lady brought the cheesecake. Apparently she tried to write happy birthday with chocolate syrup, but that kind of melted away. Everything yes, became less stuck together. Yes, gonna go and Levi ended up dipping okay, his strawberry in the chocolate syrup and eating it. Are you ready to go home? <laughs> I said I come before the storm. We need to try and burn up some of the energy before we get him into bath and bed tonight. Levi, where's daddy? Where's Daddy? His car. His car? He went to his car? Okay, we're going to see Daddy at home, okay? Okay. Yeah. 
Are you ready to go home? Mommy's gonna drive now, okay? It's been a good half an hour since Lakshman went inside to put Levi to sleep, and I still hear him chatting and playing in the background. A couple of minutes ago, both of them had like um, a debate, a negotiation as to who who wins. Basically, I think Levi wanted to get out of the court, or he wanted to get rid of his toy giraffe, or Lakshman wanted giraffe to stay in, or that he stays in his court. I don't know. Yeah, it's some sort of a negotiation, and I think Lakshman won. But this is why I've not given him chocolate. This is why, and it just recommends not giving sugar. Um, until they're two years old. Now he just had a couple of dips, literally, and that is keeping him awake for such a long time. He was hyper when we got back home. I had so much beef from my family and my friends, family especially, you know, everyone, the ones I talked to over the phone, the ones I don't see in a couple of years, anyone who heard that Levi has not had sugar or chocolate has had so much to say against me saying, why are you doing the same? He has a rest of his life to have chocolates and sugar, okay? Um, depriving him of it for two years is no big deal at all. In fact, I don't intend to give him chocolate as much as other people would possibly do. I mean, come to think of it, we don't eat chocolate on a daily basis. It's only occasionally when we go out. And children are so young, toddlers especially, they don't know how to regulate themselves, okay? They're not losing out on anything if they don't have chocolates or ice cream on a daily basis or weekly basis. Today's feat is to bake a cake for Levi's birthday tomorrow. Well, his birthday was yesterday, but we're technically supposed to be celebrating it tomorrow with a cake and going out to the wild place as well. The last time I baked a cake was eight years ago for Lakshman's birthday. It tasted horrible. The texture was so bad. It was so hard. The icing was lousy. Um, the ingredients cost me far more money than a ready-made cake would have. So... I don't know why I've taken on this feat, but I really want to make a dinosaur cake for him because that's his thing at the moment. And I found a really simple dinosaur 2D sort of a structure. We'll see how it goes. Till we met the other day. Oh, didn't want the night to end. Oh, and now there's a wind of change. I've never ever felt this way. You're stuck in some I'm longing for you, pick up the phone Catching a flight, I'm coming home Back to the place I've always known Home, home Seeing you soon, I gotta run We're gonna have a lot of fun And spending this summer alone I'm coming home What did you do with the balloon? What are you doing? Are you cutting cake? Hmm? Is Levi studying cake? I want to cut. Okay, we're gonna sing a song, okay? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh no, we forgot a candle. Uh, happy birthday. We're doing it again. I forgot a candle. Do you want the lighter? No. We need to put it on. No, Shall we put no. fire? Shall it? That's fine. Okay, never mind. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Levi. Happy birthday to you. May God bless you, dear. May God bless you, dear. May God bless you, dear Levi. Happy birthday to you! Hip hip! Yay! Hooray! Ah, ah, take a bite. Ah! Mummy's there. Mummy, feed Levi. Mama? Can you feed mommy, please? Levi, feed mommy. Can mommy have a bite? Yeah, is the cake nice? Is it nice? The cake's so successful. Whew! He doesn't want the chocolate? No. Mommy, is that right? Ah, thank you. Did you blow 
Levi, what are you eating? Cake. Is the cake nice? Mm. What kind of cake is it? Birthday cake. Yeah, it's your birthday cake. That's right. Is it a dino cake too? You like your dino cake? Is it yummy, yummy? Back from carrying the baby and the pram carrying our bags. This is why we bring our pram everywhere. So you can carry the bags, not for this boy to sit. He keeps asking for the pram in the car, but then when we do take it out, he doesn't want to sit on it. He's like, Daddy, carry me. Daddy, carry me. Levi, what's that sound? A bird. That's a bird, yeah. A bird, a little bit. A bird, a <laughs> Did you see any of those? We came yeah, out to the wild place today. Yeah, this is Levi's birthday gift. Huh? Someone asked me what I got him for his birthday. Have I gotten all of his presents? I think it's a... It's a UK culture thing that you buy so many presents for kids and have everything wrapped overnight, have it ready for them when they wake up in the morning of their birthday. But I'm not into presents and I do not want to train Levi to be like that too. I don't want to encourage him. Oh, looks like he's getting into the pram. I don't want to encourage him to think that birthday is all about presents and gifts and stuff, you know. Um, and also with us, with Lakshman and I, we don't really do presents just for birthdays or anniversaries and that sort of thing. If we want something, we get it as and when we need it. Uh, it doesn't really make sense to wait for your birthday or Christmas to buy something. And that's exactly what we do for Levi, especially for Levi. If we need something, I go out and get it immediately for him. You know, I don't even bother waiting or looking around. But then we decided to get this annual membership for the Wild Place so that we can come. He loved the Bristol Zoo last year when we went. Bristol Zoo moved to this place and this is a bigger area, bigger place than Bristol Zoo as well. So this is combi a combination of the wild place and um, the zoo together. So I was really excited to bring Levi here and we figured now that it's uh, spring and we are moving into... What is after spring? <laughs> we are moving into summer. I thought it would be a good time to actually take him out here more regularly, you know, so we just got an annual membership. And I am so happy that the weather is so good today. It's just really sunny. I still have my jacket on. I could possibly get away with the jumper, but I like to be warm and toasty. So I'm wearing this. It's so cold. It's about 10, 9 degrees, I think. <laughs> Levi, that's banana. 